welcome to Cage Face, an indie horror game. Ugh. Apparently it has a lot of reading, so I might breeze through a bunch of it. It's strangely shaped. But hey, we're not going to use the, the cursed W word. Um, let's see. Cold case documents. Alright. Oh, jeez. You guys can read this. You can pause the video and read this. Something about a bird. Investigation. Let's see. Multiple stab wounds to the body. The possible weapon used for such wounds could be a pickaxe. Oh. Stab wounds through the heart was the probable cause of death. Homicide. 19 years old. Type of death violent. Sorry, couldn't wait. I'll lay some glow sticks. Find me. PS, record everything. Hmm. Okay. June 13th, 1987. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! That's cool. We're, we're still watching the TV, but this is... It's one of those sort of typical, I guess, recording the final moments of VHS tape, but we'll see the atmosphere and the ambience. I can't believe he talked me into doing this. So my thing would be... Um, hang on a sec. Webcam. It's just gonna it's raise a little bit, and there we go. So my thing would be, put your wages down whether or not, when this tape finishes, our character will turn around and get killed by the, the cage face, okay? That's gonna, I'm gonna wager that's gonna be what happens. He'll be so immersed in the TV, they'll be, whoa, he's right behind me, whoa, radical, and then other YouTubers will scream like a little bitch, and I'll be just like, damn, I didn't see that coming. Totally. But... We'll see. I like to be proven wrong. Glow sticks. Oh. Do birds nestle here? Birds. Now that. Um, sure. Birds. Well, anyways, birds. What do you want me to look at? Shortcut? Hmm. Oh, this is fresh blood. Did he hurt himself? Hmm. Maybe he'd be just like, This is not my own blood. Ha ha ha. Where is it? I'm trying to remember the quote, what was it? Ah, oh, shit. Zoolander, maybe? He's like, Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Sort of shit. But is he wondering if this cage face is wounded? I don't know, man. Like, if, if the dude has, like, a literal cage... A literal cage for a head, I... I, I would, I, I would pro probably think that the, per the thing is unkillable. Head bleeding probably means nothing. Dante's Inferno, huh? Hmm. Hmm, anything of to note here? Maybe not. We'll just keep going.
Hmm. Is there one path? Looks like I can't go any further here. Because I went which way? The left first when there was two tunnels? Someone ahead of me? So I'm not sure if there's been multiple paths and I could have gone somewhere else or if it was just another dead end. Wait. Is, is that... Yes, it's more feathers. Yeah, I'm, you're right, it is more feathers. Not a dead end, huh? Oh god, I should... I'm getting the hell out of here. He's kind of pale, man. He got pinctured in the heart, too. And he's behind me, isn't he? Well, that's surprising. Who's in the picture? It looks like... I don't think it's Cage? Yeah, it actually might be. I think I see... It's the straps or suspenders. But... He's gonna be to the right and bust through the wall, ain't he? Maybe. Hmm? Or I'll be trying to sneak out of here and try to survive. Just keep moving. hard to breathe. Yeah, let's move it. Does he have, like, a bird in his head? Is that what's going on? Like, there's a bird in his head? I don't know if he can run or not. If there's just a Jason Voorhees kind of slow speed. But, no matter what, we're just keep running. And we'll try to get out of here. Unless we just, for some reason, suddenly collapse because of the lack of oxygen. This guy wants to be a pussy. I'm curious what he looks like, though. I, I would have wanted to, to get a nice close-up on him, but maybe maybe in a second playthrough. Oh. A second one? Or he knows how to teleport. There's a bird in his head, and he's letting him know where my location is, maybe. Sounds like a bat, rather. to get out of here faster, or else I fucking struggle and... Oh. Come on, man. Not too much further to go. I think maybe it's a time limit. Come on, dude. We're almost there. No pussying out on me. Don't tell me you're a soy boy. Come on. A little bit more. I think. I think... I think this is the start. Hardly tell. I think. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, yeah. Almost there, buddy. There we go. He made it. Phew. He he was struggling, but he, he he made it. Now what? Where'd this come from? Two bodies found in subway tunnel. You can pause and read this. Mine shut down to deadly gas. Hello. Hey, you're calling right on time, just as I finish watching the tape. No wonder the guy turned out the way he is now. Perhaps I can interview him. Hmm. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for my new story. It might even have a name. Hmm. Alright, ending A. I didn't know there'd be multiple endings. Let's check it out a little bit. Hang on. Cage face. You cannot sleep just yet. You just found a new lead, another piece of the puzzle. It is the biggest potential key to the mystery so far. The past few months you've been waiting 
For every bit of information to slowly arrive at your desk, this night a VHS tape has surfaced. You cannot wait until the morning. This has to be seen right now. It is your responsibility uh, to report anything you find, after all. Take a look and see what it has to offer. I'm going to assume there's three endings. Let's see if there's any information. doesn't say anything about multiple endings or how many endings. He says you can die by the gas. But you can only die from it when Cage Face is around. Ah, so the closer you are to Cage Face, the more additional sounds. The the credits are still going, but without the sound. All right. So apparently, I would presume. Oh, okay. Well, they closed the game, and then Steam VR says it failed. Uh, presumably, there's three endings. Probably one is getting. Poison. Then, Cause apparently, it's like um, they have it. So, if the closer you are to him, the more he poisons you. I'm guessing it's more akin to, uh, you know, canaries in a mine um, warning you when poison is around. But it's like sort of the other way around. That the canary and cage face is emitting poisonous fumes that emanates from them. I guess. Looks like the bird is nailed. Like its wings crucified in the ma in the, the, the cage, it sort of looks like. I don't know, let's see if I can get a good look on him, but I'm gonna try to get um, all of the endings. One is maybe escaping while poisoned, if we get to figure out when that is, or if it's death by cage face, and death by poison. I'm gonna assume it's just the three endings. So first of all, we gotta figure out what's on the other side of the railroad. I believe he talked me into doing this. The other side of the railroad, or not the railroad? Um, the left left side. Or hang on, wait. Like this way? Did I never go this way? Or this was the feather? That was the feather. Okay. Wasn't there another path I didn't take, or was that just it the entire time? And I just, I went herp derp. I think maybe. I think that maybe was me herp derping. But I'm gonna presume it's, yeah, two deaths and one escape. We'll find out. We're gonna get captured and or attacked or just get a nice close-up of Cage Face. Alright, so. We are going to give Mr. Cage Face a nice... Eh. Oh. Yep. Instant death. Hmm, it's like, ah, interesting findings. Interesting, he died. Hey, you're calling right on time, just as I finish watching the tape. He was murdered right there while recording. Some real intense stuff. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for my new story. It might even have a name. Hmm. So, alright. Ending B. Just getting killed, simply. Nothing much has changed at the end, it just... Hey, he died, it was pretty intense. Hey, at least he didn't react annoyingly like YouTubers do. Like, oh god, oh, oh, please, oh! Ah. And then, like, he turns the camera around and rotates to look at himself, and he's just giving this blowjob face, like... Ah. It's fucking typical ass fucking shit. But yeah, uh, interesting. We're gonna get the other ending. See what happens when you get poisoned. Besides difficulty breathing, difficulty running. It's hard to breathe. All right, so ending season coming. Get Mr. Cage Face over here. We just have to keep running around in circles. Never get caught, but have difficulty breathing. We, oh god, we gotta get out of here, Scoob! Oh shit! Oh no, he's gonna get us! Yes. We should start having problems breathing and. So. Oh no! It's like in B rated Hollywood movies, you know? Yep, there we go. I hear the breathing already. 
Oh, oh. The bird let him know. Fuck you, bird in his cage. He's like, chwa, 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 chwa. I mean, that could sound like a bird sound. Ka, he's behind you. Well, he is. What an asshole. The bird's an asshole. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's all the bird's fault. The bird is controlling him. If the bird is the evil being. The bird is maybe an SCP. And he's controlling this guy's body. It's all the bird. It's like it's like the canary bird that was used by humans to alert used by humans to alert them of gas that would kill them. And the bird died from the gases. So he wanted to get revenge. Oh. So he wanted to get revenge on the humans for using the canary as, you know, a sacrifice for human lives. And the canary's like, not on my fucking watch. With the canary's last breath, the canary was like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna kill humans. Hey, you're calling right on time, just as I finish watching the tape. Man, looked like he collapsed. He was having trouble breathing. It sounded nasty. Anyway, looks like I have enough material for a well, new story. That'd be it, unless there's a different anything. ending for not answering the phone, which is maybe my other question. I'm gonna try that as an experiment to see if maybe not answering the phone something happens. All right, nope, leaving the phone, nothing bad happens. So it looks like my uh, theory mm, that this guy dies by, you know, something, the monster appearing behind him. That trope has not continued in this game at the very least, which is a good thing. Because annoying tropes like that need to stop, just like PT tropes. But uh, otherwise, short but interesting game, got all the endings, good for that. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully in the future there'll be more, like, comparable or similar to this, but with more intense chases we could say because uh, when it comes to this it's just it's about the narrative i guess of creating and revolving the story around the creature to sort of build hype about the creature's existence will there be more about this creature i don't even know if i should call it a creature or not but it revolves around its existence what it does sort of like an scp kind of case this phone's getting annoying by the way Ugh, i'm hearing the phone but it's going to be muted for you guys um but in terms of horror itself, I wonder what that is. The Possession? Maybe previous game, maybe. Anyways, uh, it revolves around the creature's existence and what he does, but not so much about him being scary, because he just walks, you know, Jason Voorhees' speed at you. It's not intimidating, it's not scary, but... It revolves around its like it, what it can do, but if they were able to make it more intense somehow, that'd probably be cool too. But otherwise, it's just a short, interesting, just a short, compact indie horror game. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit that notification down below for updates and videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rawr.